Alrighty, so got me a little fucking me little exhaust on here. As you can see, it's pretty fucking outrageous. But that's the way that Dale wants to. He wants to just fucking up sweeps as long as possible. So with that comes some fucking annoying mounting with your uh, sissy bar and stuff because that has to be pretty fucking strong. Otherwise, you see it works on the head. And Came with some pretty handy little uh, mounting fucking hardware that I'm going to use. So, on the bottom of the fucking frame here, there's, on, the, on, the, on the casting, there's a little fucking hole at the back here that I think I'll pick up at the bottom. Yeah, I think I'll pick that up at the bottom fast, not like that. And then, for this top one, I'm just going to fucking trim it up so it's fucking horizontal, I think. And then I'm just going to put a little a little something something off the fucking sissy bar to do that with. And then toss the other to do something in the middle here. Something there's a little mount here on this side of the fucking this side of the exhaust, but I'm not quite sure yet. I probably don't need it if it's fucking there. Probably fucking better off up here, but the exhaust is fucking just something that Dale's bought off fucking tanker or whatever the fuck it is. And, uh, doesn't exactly fucking sink very well. All the flange is a little bit off, so it's probably gonna leak a bit, but what fucking shovel doesn't fucking leak exhaust? So, can't really do much about that. So I'm just gonna make it so they're right out here, and if it leaks, like, not much you can do about it. I'd rather it look right and leak a bit of fucking exhaust than look like absolute shit and not leak, so. I'm gonna favour it looking good over whether over how good it fucking seals here. So, you don't need to watch me do this, I'm just gonna fart ass around and work out some mounts for this. So when then, when we come back I'll have this exhaust mounted. I'll cut the other um, fishy as well into that fucking beak. I think it looks better as a beak. It sounds fucking heaps different too. So it'll be something different. Um, do that and then we'll come back and have a look because Dale's just bought a holly but once again just bought a holly for fucking foot controls and stuff and I'm gonna make all this crap here but he's got like a generator style brake which is all good but when the exhaust comes through here which it usually does on a generator because you've got the, the kitty thing so I'm gonna have to I don't know what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna have to do some fucking some magic and make this work and a foot peg somewhere once again. That I'll just expect to make magic out of this crap. So we'll come back and sort that out, but I'm gonna focus on this exhaust first. Get that all sorted out, mounted, and then we can fucking move on, I reckon. Alright, so cutting these fishies. So this is oh fuck you. This is um a little fucking stencil I made. So this is, to make them all the fucking same, because you gotta do this on this side, you gotta do the same on that side, I made a see-through stencil so you can see the whole way around. I've got 10 and 10 here, because it's 10 mil from that side, 10 mil from that side. So this is exactly how I made that side. You see it fits in there, nice and deep black. So that's what I did that side with. So to do the same this side, see I've got a center pop here, that's where I fucking drill me little fucking hole. So. Let's just fucking do this quickly. So you just measure 10 mil this side, like so. Must be 10 mil this way. It's gonna fucking off. 10 mil that way. 10 mil that way. And you just follow this arc. Come on, bro. Yeah. So somewhere there. Hold that bitch. And then I'm just gonna mark the freaking circumference of it. Oh without moving it fucking too much, like I just did. Come on, bro. I made it see-through so you can see on the edges when it's hanging open and stuff, and you can do both sides like this. So, mark that, mark that. And then I just mark, I put a little hole in the middle of it, so I can just fucking go ahead and mark the center of the fucking hole punch. So you can just do that on both sides. So I've marked that, get your little fucking center punch. Relax, show, and you just pop this in the center where your hole's gonna be. Just like that. And then you drill your hole. That goes in there like that. Drill your hole like that. 
do that both sides and then you just fucking come in and cut this with a grinder. You can get all these little bits with a grinder. And that'll be that. I reckon I'll go through and I'll drill these holes and then we'll come through and cut them out. And then I'll show you how we fucking go through and fix it all up. Alrighty, so I've cut. Obviously I've just drilled these holes. I just did it with the hum humble old fucking hole saw on your drill like that. I've drilled both sides out. So now you just come through with your grinder and you just take out those little sections. Little trick, if you use a smaller disc on your grinder, you can get more of an angle. You can cut more of a curve if you angle the grinder. So we'll just go through and cut these, I reckon. Most of the way through, let's do the other side and we'll be able to wiggle it off. So just get it most of the way and then just give it a little wiggle. Come on, bro. There you have it. So that's your, your general shape. Now you just do the other side and then fucking shape it. So I'll go ahead, I'll cut the other side and then I'll show you how I shape this thing. Make it look like that. All right, so I've cut both sides now. It looks like this. I use my special little fucking do it all eBay special here to um, just do the, the insides here. It's fucking quite good. This might be loud, but. So yeah, don't do that. That's a bit of a cunt, but you can see it's all fixed up inside there. Now I'm just gonna do the ends on the old fucking linisha and we're fucking done here. All right, so there we have finished finished product. I just cleaned up all the little burrs and stuff with the humble old file. And then I just went through and buffed the edges to make it look like it does. So they turned out pretty fucking similar. Well, they look fucking the same to me, but. That's as close as we can be, and now I'll fucking do the rest of the exhaust. I've got to polish up some scratches and stuff I got in this, so I'll polish that up and put the exhaust on completely, I reckon. So this is them all finished up. Got them all bolted on now, all polished up, got them both cut. So that's the exhaust finished. I've fucking buffed this mount up, that's all sorted. Still gonna put the right bolt in that, but you can get you get the idea. Uh, they fucking turned out pretty sweet. They're pretty big dogs. That's what Dale wanted. That's what he fucking got. So that's all sorted now. Now I gotta fucking sort out his fucking brake and clutch side issue. Typical Dale has gone and bought fucking generator shovel hardware. So here I am trying to make generator stuff work with obviously cone shit, so. So I've woken up, 
Fuck, a bit motivated to uh, do some shit on this. Not fucking working my other job today, so... I think I might get stuck in and wire this thing up and make it run today. So, I just fucking went to the shop and bought a bunch of shit. I bought like a little battery that goes in here. I'll show you that. I'm gonna wire it up. I'm gonna get this thing running just because there's no reason I can't. I'm waiting on some other fucking bits and pieces, so... I'm gonna make it run, get that portion of it out of the way. I bought some oil and shit for it. I'll show you what oil and stuff I make, I don't make, I fucking use on this thing. Um, I wish I made it, it's fucking expensive. Anyway, um, basically I wanna get this thing running, see what the pipes sound like, get all that out of the way while I'm waiting on some bits and pieces for these controls that fucking Dale's bought. So, I'll show you all that. Like I said, I bought a bunch of shit, I'll go through all that with ya. I'll fucking show you that. Wire this whole thing up, get it going. I don't have a brake switch at the moment, but I can just run the wiring before I do that later. So, no, let's fucking look into it, get this thing running. I reckon you get it done today. If you see the same shirt, it means I've got it running today. So, we'll see how we go. No, this is basically shit I bought. Just some connectors, zip ties, some of this fucking cool little fucking uh, braided fucking line. A tiny little battery, because it's kickstart, obviously. All it's got to do is fucking run the coil. So, tiniest battery you can fucking get. A um, couple of relays and um, fusible auto reset fuses. I'll go through this with you and tell you why I use them. A lot of people don't use them on bike stuff, but I'll go through that and show you why I do. It's fucking saves a lot of headache on the side of the road trying to look for a spade fuse when these things just auto reset themselves. So, I'll go through all this, like I said, got some fucking wiring. This is all the shit you get from Super Cheap and fucking Repco, so... Very easy, this is the oil I use. Fucking cans, don't worry about that. Don't look. I use this oil, this is like a fucking classic medium. Shelly's or something it's fucking called. It's high mineral, fucking it's got zinc and all sorts of bullshit in it. High zinc, which you need in these old engines. You can buy stuff for a motorbike that is actually, it's called Enduro or something. But like, it's 80 bucks for fucking 4 litres and this car shit, which is exactly the same, same weight and everything, is for, I think it was 60 bucks for this and it's 5 litres, so... This is what I get, get more out of it. So, I'm gonna fuck around, start making this, start putting my battery and stuff in and I'll show you how I wire this thing up. So yes, these old things... These old things, they're like the thickest oil possible. So, uh, as you can see, that shit is fucking thick. What I do on my fucking bike too, I put a bit of that fucking engine honey in there, that oil stabilizer shit. That fucking stuff is so good. Oh, I can't. Try not to fucking spill this everywhere. Fucking very good shit, this. Smell it. it. Smells like fucking mineral and shit. Exactly what you want in a bike like this. So I've got my fucking battery sitting in here. I filled this bitch up with oil. The next thing I usually do is work out where I'm going to put the on and off. A lot of people run a fucking key on these things. I don't understand what's the point of a key. You fuck half the tart if I kickstart these things is then to just to fucking put a wire over and make a key bypass a key. So I just use a fucking toggle switch and I hide it somewhere. There's far less to go wrong with the toggle switch because it's just going to be an earth trigger for my relays. So everyone usually uses those key barrels and then puts all their power through the key barrels and that's why they always fucking fail. So I just use a fucking simple little couple dollar toggle switch and I hide it fucking under here somewhere. So when you fucking get on the bike you just flick this and that's on and then you flick it off for off obviously. So I'm going to make a little mount and hide him there somewhere, so it's just a little fucking when you want to fucking on and off this bike, so everyone now knows how to steal Dale's bike. So if, you know, he's fucking soft as fuck, so just got to stand over and be easy as. You know how to start this thing now, you know where the key is. So his bike is now your bike, if you're watching this. So this is how you can start it. So I'll go ahead and mount this guy, and then I'm going to start working out where to put all my fucking relays and stuff. So. I'll do this dude first, and we'll uh, come back and I'll show you all the rest of the shit I'm going to do. I'm not there, I think. Alright, so I've done my little fucking bracket up in here. Just like that. Just a little bit of stainless that I've fucking bent up so that the 
the switch sort of sits there like that. So that's how that's gonna be. So for the next part, I'll put this fucking up in here. Make it easier for me. So the next part I'm gonna do is work out all my relays and circuit breakers. So I made this little guy just quickly and he's gonna sit in here like that and bolt in. So he's gonna live in there beside the battery. So basically I've got two auto reset circuit breakers and two relays. So the reason I do this, I'm gonna wire the ignition circuit, so the circuit that runs the bike, like the coil and everything, I'm gonna wire that on one side and then the lights and stuff I'm gonna wire on the other side. The reason I do that, I could do it all off one, that's not gonna give it too much power. The reason I do that is in case you have a wire or something in a light short out, it'll short the light circuit out but won't short the coil circuit out. So the bike will still run even without lights. So you can have the biggest short in the world, the bike will still run. So as long as it's not shorting on the circuit side, the bike will run, but even if it shorts on the circuit side, the lights will still work. So, what these guys are, instead of running a fuse, you can run an auto reset circuit breaker. So when these things trip at 20 amp, these are 20, you can get all the way up to 60 amp ones. When these trip at 20 amp, they flick off, and then after five seconds, they flick back on. So if it's if the earth if the short is still there, it'll just flick on and off every five seconds. So it doesn't hurt anything, it just flicks on and then it shorts and flicks back off. So if you run these, you don't fucking have to worry about fuses and carrying spare fuses and stuff, because these are fucking auto reset. So there's a little fucking tip, if you can't be fucked carrying around fuses and stuff, these little guys work a treat. So, um, like I said, I made this cute little fucking dude. I'm gonna put him in there, I'm gonna bolt him down in here, and it's just so you can, I'm gonna make the wires long enough so you can pull it out like that have a look what the fuck's going on and then put it back in. So I'm gonna fucking start running all my cables for the headlight, I'm gonna run the coil, I'm gonna run the tail light and I'm gonna run the, the brake switch and the fucking points. That's basically all I have to run. And I've just got a power from the regulator but that's easy, I'll do that last. So I'm gonna start running some wires. I've showed you this, show you what I do. This is just gonna, like I said, this is gonna be an earth trigger. So the way these relays work, they have a power and earth on one side and you can low voltage trigger the relay to run the higher voltage to your fucking your things you're running. Just so you're not running whatever, if these were both running 20 amp, you're not running 40 amp through your switch. So your switch is going to have no amps and all the amps are going to get through the relay and that's going to save all your wiring, it's going to save your switch from flogging out, it's going to save all sorts of shit. So for a long run, these are the ways to do it, but if you just want to quickly fucking wire something up, you can put it all through your switch and it's just going to melt it after a while. So that's why I do it like this. This is for longevity. This is for long rides, all that bullshit. That's why I do it like this. This is how cars and automotive shit's done. That's why I do this stuff the same, because basically the same fucking thing. So like I said, I'm going to mount this, start running some wires and stuff, and then we'll come back and have a look at how we're going to wire these relays up to this. I'll show you how to do all that bullshit. Alright, so I've fucking done most of these wires, I've run most of them. So I got one for the headlight, that's that guy. I've got the brake switch, so I got one down, one back up. And then obviously two here for the brake light here. So, like I said, it's for the brake switch, it's one in, one out, so it's power in the brake switch, and then when it's flicked, it'll give it'll show power back. So I've just got these two that go together because that's fucking brake switch power so that's got to go back up to the brake for the brake light to come on. So now they got all this crap pretty well fucking run. I've got to do one for the coil and stuff but that's easy. Um, I'm going to put the battery in, start crimping some terminals on this thing and wherever the fuck I put it right there and start pushing it onto me relays and bullshit like that. So start doing that, eh? Because that's fucking basically all run. I ran it with this stuff too. This is like a, I'm not gonna say braid because you know how fucking much I hate braid. It's just like a sheath for the for the cables. It's plastic so it's fucking not gonna rub through anything like I fucking hate. Um, here's my fucking mess of shit. But yeah, you just buy this shit like this and it's like a wrap. And you just put your wires inside the motherfucker. 
I usually do it on fucking later model stuff like this. Looks a bit better, but like on old early shit, it's gonna look like shit. So, like I said, later model shit like this, I'd do it, but early stuff, I'll run the fucking cloth wire stuff because it looks fucking way better. But I'll fix all this up when I've got the tank on there and I'll fucking hide all that so you won't see any of it. Alright, I'll fucking keep going and start fucking wiring up these relays and putting the battery in and all that crap, I reckon. So, I've completed all this, done all these little wires, um, put this fucking shroud on it, obviously. Done me coil, done all that. Done this, this will fucking live underneath the seat. I'll glue that on there a bit better. But for now, it's good. Um, done the points. Nice little fucking setup in there. Just got that running up away from the exhaust. So I'll tuck that up a bit more. So it doesn't burn, but back to the little control panel. I've got it wired up a little bit here. So obviously it's battery in on this side and then this is the fuse side. So I've got the fuse side going to each relay. And I've just got the power jumped because this is a coil in here, so it needs po positive one side, negative the other, so you can switch either side. So I would switch negative just because whatever there's less to fuck around with, and you can pull a positive negative from anywhere. So these two is on the side of the negative terminals, and they will trigger these on, and these two here are the power out. So when I flick the switch on, It'll give earth to these two, which will fuck, switch the coil, which will connect the, these powers, this bottom power to the top, and that'll that'll uh, be my coil and my lights. So I'm gonna go ahead. I've got all these wires here. Um, I made this so this can hang out here a bit, and I can plug it all in, and then I can put it in, stuff it in there, and and uh, bolt it in. So I'll put all this out. I'll start winding this up. Then I'll put the battery in and then I pretty much put fuel on this thing and fucking see if it runs. It's that simple. So, check back, here we are. All sorted. So that's what I ended up doing. These are all the wires for it that come down here, into here, two relays below. Here's your two fucking circuit breakers. Battery, I still gotta put a strap in here. I've got a little, little hose strap I'll show you that I'm gonna put over that. Um, so that's done, the two powers for it. Because these are the two circuit breakers, obviously it's straight power, straight onto them, that's all good. Um, toggle switch is there, sussed it out, she fucking works now. Headlights on too, it's facing the sky for some reason. But yeah, so all the wiring is all sorted, all works, all up to the coil, this is an old coil. I stole Dale's and put it on my, um, on my bike obviously, because mine actually works. So um, I'm gonna put his coil back on, chuck some leads on this thing, and then see if it starts. But yeah, that's how you fucking steal Dale's bike, if you ever fucking want to. So just stand over him, take his bike, that's how you turn it on. Fucking see you later, it's that easy. Alrighty, I'll set this thing up now. Like I said, I'll put the coil on it. I'll do the, I'll do the um, leads, and I'll set it up. And I haven't done anything to see if it'll run and we'll just, I'll show you in time. Let's see if this thing fucking runs straight off the bat. All right, let's do it. All right, so I've got the tank on there, all the fucking wiring buttoned up. Obviously I put the tank on, put some fucking fuel in it. Um, got Dale's coil back on, like I said, I stole it from my bike. Put that back on, got the legs all sorted out. Um, I literally haven't done anything. I haven't tried to start this or nothing yet. I've put a um, test light on there now, so I'll just check that the coil has, it's the fucking tail lights on. I'll make sure the coil has power, which it does. So there's a good chance it'll fucking go here. Like I said, I haven't tried it or nothing yet, so I'm gonna show you as I go if this thing runs and see what it does, see if it fucking, wants to um, wet sump all over my fucking table, so we'll see what this does. So we'll fucking see, eh? I'll put this up here, so you can see me fucking struggle. I left the fucking light on, like an idiot. So, let's fucking turn this off. Let's fucking let's see what this does. Fuck, I got me a little fucking accelerator rig up here. So, give it a fucking bit of fuel there. Two kick prime with one in here. I reckon let's see if I can't get this to fall off the fucking bridge. There's no fucking no bars on it or nothing, so we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, that's not good. 
Seeing it in time as I do it. So, get that out of the way. So, I see if I can get a kick in now, eh? There we go. Alright, mission on. So I've just got another a random plug here. We'll plug that in. Sit it on there. I might not have a good earth to the engine or something. That's that might be the fucking issue. Like I said, I haven't done any of that. But everything else is earth. Maybe not. So ignition on. Oh yeah, I've got spark. Oh, listen to that. That's fucking wet something. So I got spark. Maybe it's a fucking fuel issue. I'll get some spray and we'll fucking spray in there, I reckon. So we'll put this back. And um, I'll come around the other side again, we'll put some spray on it, I reckon. Put the air cleaner off, because the best way to tell if the fucking car has got fuel, this being a Super E, it's got an accelerator pump up, so you can look down the hole and you'll see a little fucking squirt of fuel when you, press, when you squirt the accelerator. So it wasn't doing it before, I gave it like 20 squirts and now has fuel, so I reckon we've got fuel and spark, so this thing should go. We'll do the old two kick climb again though, because and I've got me. If you haven't started these things in a while, a pan underneath there will save you a lot of cleaning up. So one, two, let's get a bit of fucking oh, oh. I haven't fucking tightened this up. I'll put the ignition on Friday. Oh, listen to the oil. Oh, she's pumping oil out. Oh, it's fucking squirting too. Fucking prick. Hold on, I'm just gonna get a rag. So I don't have to clean this up later. It's full blowing it out the back. Put that in there. Alright, so it's got fuel. I'm just gonna give this fucking plenty of fuel in there. Prime it again, fucking go it again. Not the 
easy when I don't have a fucking handlebar to squirt fuel into it, so I'm gonna pop the idle. When I find the screwdriver, I'm just gonna up the idle so that it's got a bit of air to fucking get it going and then I'll turn it back down again. So I should, should start pretty high here. So I'll turn it down once it gets going. But keep it deep, I reckon. Turn the fuel off so I can fucking help. You know that? I feel wrong. So I don't know if I'm working with a fucking flash. Let's see what it does. Fuck, it's got a short and slow as you are. Once, dude. Short throw. Oh, I don't like fucking see if I can. Oh, Jimmy, that up there, like a little fucking. Little fucking cafe racer, I reckon. That was fucking Boba Field. Oh, look at this. That was fucking Boba Field. Ew! It's the wrong fucking direction, though, which is strange. Where's all my fuel? Oh, I think I'm out of fuel, so I might fucking steal some more fuel out of my bike and put it in there. There's none coming out of the fucking tank anymore. If I didn't really put that much in it, maybe there's... There's no fuel coming out of it. Oh, there's a little bit. Fuck it, we'll see what it does. My oh, little fucking cafe racer, this is doing what I like. Oh, yeah. I'll just have a little bit more ones. Oh, see? She wants to go. I think that was a fucking model. Drive again. What fucking deal coming out of there? Shut up, I'm done. You can adjust how much piston it pushes in. But. Seem to be doing much, so I'll just buy it again and we'll kick it and see what happens. Must be some sucks in here. Alright, let's try it. Oh, you fucked me. Alright, I'm looking for fuel, let's come back. I'm sick of kicking it. It's got fuck all throw it and kick it, which is really fucking annoying. Absolutely sucks to kick. It doesn't help, it's on the table. Uh, I'm gonna put some more fuel in it. See what happens. Alright, so two things I found was the always check your fucking your cap for your tank is vented. As soon as I took this off, you heard go. So cap's not vented, so the fuel's not gonna get to the carburetor. And second thing I was saying about you can adjust how much all this squirt it gives it in there, it's giving it fuck all. So I've pumped it up now, there's a good squirt in there, so I think we should be fucking on here. Yeah, let's try it again, eh? A couple of fries. One more, I reckon. Alright, see what's up. Ow, fuck this 
Let's hope that works and then I can finish doing my brake side and make them the same height and then work out pegs. And then it's fucking done. So I'm glad that runs. As fucking shit as it does. And I was looking at the I thought these would fucking leak quite bad, but they don't actually leak that bad, so that's nice. So I might just go through a static time this and um, call it done. It sounds like it's a fucking heaps of time you know, blowing through the carving and stuff, not liking to start, so. All right, as you could tell before, this timing was out by the sounds of it. So we'll go through and static it quickly. So to static it, I'll just show you quickly. You can fucking go on YouTube and read up how to do this properly or in your book. Once again, read your book. Um, so you take spark plugs out. Um, I've got it off the ground, so you can just do it in neutral. You can do it on the ground, on the stand in neutral too. So you want your spark plugs out, you want to take your pushrod tubes off. So you just want to knock it around with your kicker until you put your finger over this front cylinder. You want it on top dead center, so I should probably start with that. Oh. All right, we'll go through and quickly static time this thing. Um, you'll probably hear me talk about static timing a bit. Static timing means time it when it's not running, dynamics when it's running. I never fucking dynamic time it. You just static it and then you play around with it. So I'll just go through it quickly. To static it, you want your spark plugs out. Um, I've got this off the ground, but it doesn't matter. You can just have it in neutral. There's a few different ways you can do it. If you're unsure, just fucking Google it or your book. Read your fucking book. Um, so basically, to static time it, you need the front cylinder at the advance mark on the crankshaft. There's two different marks. I'll just go through and show you which one you need to be on. So to find that mark, you need to just knock the engine over just slowly with your fucking kicker. And you want to put your finger over your fucking your spark plug hole and when you start feeling air coming out, that means it's on compression stroke. So the other way you can tell, you keep knocking it over, and if both your push rods don't move, that means it's front cylinder compression stroke. So that's where it needs to be to static it. So I've got mine there at the moment, and you knock it over until you see this little, oh fuck, I'll get my phone. You probably, I'll put my phone line on for you fellas. Hopefully there was no fucking nudes on there. Who's gonna fucking send me nudes? So you want this thing on 
on uh, that mark there. So yeah, it's got the line through the center. So you just, this is usually just a fucking bung, you just pop that off. And that's your fucking the mark you want to see for your static timing. So I've got mine in the front of the hole there, sort of good to go. So you come back over here, over to your points. So once your motor's in the right spot, then you set your points. So I'm gonna put you in my little, little cradle here, so I can fuck around. So you wanna fuck around in this, and you're gonna need a test light. You've probably seen me fucking around with test lights quite a bit on these. That's all these things need to fucking do heaps of shit on these. So you need a fucking test light, and all you really do is you fucking put one end of your test light on the, this is obviously power when the points are open. This is power here. So this is how you set it. So you want to put one side of your test light on the power and you want to just earth the other side. So I'll put it there so we can see it and I'll show you what we do. So we undo these two. Undo these guys. And you want to put your ignition on. So ignition on will be power. So you'll see when you turn this around, you turn it, and you'll see that, is that power on? Yeah, it is. This should light up when I'm touching the earth like that. So when that's on earth, that'll light up. So you turn this, see how it turns off and on? You see that? So the way you set it, I'm just gonna sit that up like that so you can see it. You turn it until that light just comes on. See that light just flickering there? So just before the light comes on, that's where you want to lock it up. So that is static time then. That's all it fucking is. So you tighten that up there. See the light just comes on when I tighten that up? That's fine. So that is static time now. That's all you fucking got to do. And then they talk about dynamic timing in the book. Don't fucking worry about that. If you wanted to go faster, give it a bit more advance. If you wanted to go slower or start easier, retard it. Don't worry about trying to fucking stick a stupid little bung in the other side, it doesn't work. You put a fucking test light on there and flash it in and it reflects off this glass bung. It's stupid, don't even worry. So this is now static time. So I put the plugs in and we'll give it a run. Hopefully it starts easier and idles better. So let's see what happens. Let's fucking um, give it a run. See what it sounds like. Hopefully it's a bit better if not. We just have to run it, draw it, run me right, it will fuck around with timing a bit more, but let's go up. Testing this thing, so that's the next thing to see. 
All right, this was supposed to only be two part, but it was so much fucking footage. There was like an hour and a half, and that was way too much for one video. You cunts have got really short attention spans, so I'm gonna put it into three parts. So that's all for this part, and then on the next part, you'll see uh, me finish the bike and ride it and fucking all that bullshit. So hopefully there's a link somewhere here. Jump on the next one, watch me actually finish it and ride this thing around.